Alarm F on the Alpha I servo amplifier indicates a failure of the external cooling fan mounted on the heatsink. When the servo amp faults out for a bad external fan, it does it in two stages. When it first detects a fan problem, the amp goes into a warning state, and if the fan issue hasn't self-corrected within one minute, it goes into an alarm state. Alarm DS609 is generated by the CNC when it detects that a servo amp is in the warning state. In parentheses, the alarm will indicate the axis that the amplifier controls. If it is a multiple axis drive, like the one in the picture here, you will get an alarm for each axis. While the servo amplifier is in the warning state, the servo amplifiers are still powered up and able to move the machine around. The SV601 alarm indicates that the amplifier has moved into the alarm state over the fan and all of the amplifier units immediately become not ready. The machine can no longer move. Chances are good you don't know exactly which amplifiers drive which axes, so the best thing to do is access the electronics cabinet with power on, safely would be good, and look at the status displays of the units while the alarm is occurring. You are looking for the unit that is displaying a F. To please our lawyers and insurance agents, we present the following. The servo amplifiers are in the electrical cabinet, and opening the cabinet with power applied potentially exposes you to danger. In order to accurately troubleshoot the exact cause of this alarm, you will need to have power applied to the equipment. Don't attempt to perform anything discussed in this presentation if you are not both fully qualified to do so and have the equipment owner's permission to do so. Once you are done troubleshooting and before performing any maintenance, follow all plant safety and lockout procedures. These procedures should include releasing all energies related to the maintenance procedure performed. Depending on the software version, the CNC alarm may use the word radiator in its text. Radiator and heatsink are the same thing. The external fan is mounted on top of the heatsink. The heatsink is mounted on the back of the servo amplifier and goes through the wall that the amp is mounted on. On some machines, you might be able to look down from the top of the machine and see the back side of the amplifiers, but let's just assume you can't see the fan without removing something. Unlike the internal fan, you will need some tools. The one tool you will definitely need is a screwdriver. If you end up having to take the amp out, the tools you need will depend on what mounting hardware was used. Do yourself a favor and make sure the screwdriver is a Japanese industrial standard tipped screwdriver. At a quick glance, JIS and Phillips appear to be the same, but a close look reveals that their design is slightly divergent. This difference makes it easy for Phillips screwdrivers to strip out JIS screw heads when they are screwed in tight. Conveniently, JIS tips work great in Phillips screws, so if you've noticed problems with messing up screws when working on Asian built equipment, you might want to consider changing out your Phillips screwdrivers for Japanese industrial standard versions. Before we down the machine completely, let's talk about moving it. While the DS609 alarm is displayed, the machine is still technically able to move. However, if you need to move the machine using an automatic operation, it won't happen because there is an alarm. Additionally, some ladders are written to prevent servo movement while an alarm related to the servos is occurring. Parameter 1807, bit 2, set to 1, will prevent the DS609 alarm from ever occurring. The amplifier will still go into a warning state for one minute and then the alarm state. You just won't have any indication of the warning state on the screen. If you've got a bad amp, set 1807 bit 2 equal to 1, cycle the amplifier's power to clear the alarm, and then when you power up the machine, you will have a minute to move while the amplifier is in the warning state. Once the amplifier switches to the alarm state, you will get the alarm on the screen again power down, and power up as necessary to get the machine where you need it. The latest series of amplifiers have a diagnostic that shows you the fan speed. This comes in handy if the fan is still turning. CNC Diagnostic 1714 reports the RPM reading of the fan. Diagnostic 1715 is for larger amplifiers that have two external fans. If you don't have those diagnostics on your CNC, it just means your amplifiers are older models. Another handy feature of newer drives relates to this external fan you need to get to. Previously, the amplifier had to be removed to access the external fan. Newer models can remove the fan without removing the amplifier. To determine which amplifier you have, first remove the internal fan. The internal cooling fan and its housing lift right off of the top. 
In order to get the fan housing out, you must squeeze these two tabs to release it. Now that the internal fan is out of the way, look at the back wall of the servo amplifier through the hole that removing the internal fan created. You might have to get a little creative by taking a picture if there isn't room for you to get your head in there. If all you see is yellow plastic on the back wall, a spot for your finger to hook onto, and a ramp to slide the fan out on, good news! No need to pull the amp out. If the back wall looks like bare aluminum and you can see all the components inside of the amplifier, you'll need to uninstall the servo amplifier to get to the external fan. Depending on the size of the amp, there are one or two screws at the top and bottom of the amplifier holding it to the wall. To remove the external fan without uninstalling the amplifier, loosen the screws that are shrouded in plastic. The screws are captive, so don't expect them to come out completely. Screws on top can be reached from above the amplifier. Screws on the bottom are reached through the front wall of the amplifier. Look for the access hole between the DC Link bus bars. Time for another lawyer friendly note. There is an LED between the bus bars. If the LED is lit, it means that there is voltage waiting to attack you if you put a metal object between the bus bars and short them together. Make sure the DC Link is entirely discharged before trying to get the fan out. Once the screws for the fan are loose, grip the plastic loop and pull toward the front of the amplifier. The external fan will slide out through the inside of the amplifier. Once you have the fan out, there are a few things that you can check for. Is the fan physically blocked or filthy? Cleaning it up may fix it. Try to reseat the fan modules. Maybe it's a bad connection. The signals for the external fan rely on the internal fan because it connects to both the external fan and the logic board. The logic board on the front of the amplifier that has all the connectors plugging into it is removable from the amplifier. Try to reseat it. Now that you've tried all the free stuff, replace the fan if it still doesn't work. It is rare, but sometimes it's not the fan, but the amplifier itself. If you have other servo amplifiers, see if they have the same circuit board by verifying the part numbers. If you're comfortable, try swapping the logic boards. Do keep in mind you have a possibility of losing home position on any axis you unplug the feedback cable on. Those would be the plugs that have JF in their name. If you find it's actually caused by the logic board, replace it or the entire amp. The fan and the metal plate it is mounted on are two separate parts. The part number of the fan will probably start with A90L, and chances are good the part number is printed on the fan. If it isn't, contact our part sales department, give them the part number of your servo amplifier, it's the AO6B number on the label at top of the amp, and they'll look up the fan's part number. We're just a phone call away when you need help. Call 888-326-8287, press 2 for CNC, and then press 2 for technical support. To reach the part sales department, press 2 for CNC, then 1, and 1 again.